Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Brenda Sullivan, an herbalist, and um, this is a Living and Loving Herbs podcast. Well, actually, I'm going to do a, a demo video. So <laughs> if you're wondering where I am, I'm in my bathroom. Um, so yesterday's show was supposed to be about how to control acne. So um, as you know, many of you may not know, but I also um, have a bath and body business and how I got into this whole thing was with my daughter because uh, when she was born, uh, she suffered a stroke before she was uh, before she was born and um, we discovered very quickly that she had an allergic reaction to uh, lots of commercial products, soaps, uh, laundry detergent, cleaning supplies, personal products, um, deodorants, things like that. And, um, the first couple of years, her world was very painful. Um, it was just like somebody had a bull horn in her face, constantly screaming at her, uh, full volume, uh, because her sensory system was on overload. Uh, that is not, she's 25 now. And thank God we've been able to work with her with some very talented therapists, um, her birth to three team was amazing, um, very talented ladies, and um, plus, you know, her, her school, preschool teachers um, was just, just amazing, and we were able to turn the volume down. So now she's not as sensitive. I just... Uh, are very careful. So that's how I got into the bath and body business. So if you can see, I'm just going to turn you a little bit and see, show you some of the products. My bath, we're going to be talking about, whoops, forgot about this. We're going to be talking about some of these products that I make and how I use them in my, in my daily care. And that's you want warm water. out and then I hang it up to dry okay so my face is soaking wet I got my clean towel and I just damp my face okay so once my face is dry then I take my lavender mist now this is a hydrosol Hydrosol is um, is what I make. You'll see this distilled. It's the lavender that I grow in the garden, and I put it in a big copper still, and I the steam boils up through the plant matter. It goes through this tubing and this coil, and I capture the the essential oils from from the lavender plants. Now, <clears throat> I don't so a lot of the, the essential oil distributors they will siphon off the the um the essential oil i don't do that i keep it in here i don't i it's everything it's the hydrosol it's, it's called hydrosol because there's microscopic um particles of essential oil within suspended in the hydrosol so i will spritz this i use this as a toner on my face and it's also great for hot flashes now i because I don't want to use my pretty bottles and my nice labels, I just put it in a in a, a separate bottle. So this is hydrosol, and I just spritz my face. And um, the 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 scent from the lavender it's going to be a little musty because of the because it's it's actual lavender and the essential oil is the real stuff. Some of the um, lavender products that you find on the market, I find have like an artificial scent to them. I'm not, I don't, I guess it's, they say they're essential oil. Like if you buy just the lavender essential oil, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't smell like the grass of lavender that, um, that I, that I grow. So my lavender is going to be a lot more richer um, I have, I found an essential oil that is pretty darn, there's different kind, levels of lavender uh, essential oils. So I found an essential oil that's pretty close to what I smell out in the garden. So um, I use that instead. So I will let my face dry, okay? 
and naturally um, and then we'll uh, you know kind of you can tell sometimes I'll take the hair dryer and I'll um, I'll blow my hair my face dry so when my face is dry we'll go to the next step so as I'm waiting for my face to dry, let's talk about um, some of the things that you can do uh, and if you don't want to use soap. The soap is way too dry um, and it, you're, you're the opposite. You have oily skin and you don't want to, you know, you want to dry it out. But what happens if your face is extremely dry and you don't want to use soap? The other thing that you can use and is perfectly fine is, you know, not only does this face serum work as a makeup remover but you can also use it to wash your face now when i had really bad breakout around my eyes soap tended to be too drying and it stung my eyelids so what i ended up doing was taking that t-shirt a, 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 an undershirt and you could buy a child's undershirt and i would put some of this face serum on and I would um, wash my face with the face serum, and uh, it was absolutely, uh, it, it was, it felt so good. It really helped moisturize and bring back uh, the, the inflammation. Now, <clears throat> these, um, the, I infused the oils for the face, for the face serum with um, or, organic green tea avocado oil, and then macadamia nut oil, uh, sunflower oil, tamanu, sea buckthorn oil, vitamin E, <clears throat> and essential oils. And tamanu oil and sea buckthorn are my all-time absolute favorite um, oils that I like to use on my face. You can always go back to um, farmtobath.com forward slash uh, collection skincare and products to read more about the, the details of, of these oils. Um, but if you don't want to use these, uh, you know, soap on your face, then you can use an oil. You can even use olive oil. You can use almond oil. Almond oil is a great er, uh, oil because it doesn't have any scent to it. So the, it's oil, washing your faces with oil, happens to be very good for your skin. It penetrates deeper. It clean. It does clean your pores, despite that it's counterintuitive. Um, so I, I really highly, if you are really, really dry and your just eyelids are cracked and they're they're just really irritated, then wash your face with with a face serum oil. And then don't use any creams or moisturizers for the time being and see what happens. Um, and then I would also mist your face as much as you can, um, especially for having a hot flash. Again, use a hydrosol or you just simply use water. Just spritz your face with water to just try and, and throughout the day, just try and um, rehydrate your face and drink plenty of water. Now on this, I have, you know, a sugar scrub. Now, lavender sugar scrub. Now, this is, is organic sugar, <clears throat> and it has almond, almond oil in it, and then it has um, essential oil, as well as you can see the particles. You can see the lavender in it. Now, if you want a light exfoliant, then try this. It, it, it's hydra it fully exfoliates as well as hydrates at the same time. Again, if you're having an inflammation outbreak where you're just your your face feels like it's about ready to fall off, don't exfoliate. Switch the face serums, switch to your oils and wash your face with oil and just let it heal and then try and cut back as much food um those inflammatory inflammatory if I can say that correct inflammatory foods that are um that are making are probably the cause of of your your problem so you also don't want to use commercial products that have um formal formaldehyde, creams, moisturizers, lanolin, paraffins, or fragrance, which may cause an additional irritation to the skin. Now, 
I don't make creams. I make body butters instead. Now, some of the creams that are on the market, there is formaldehyde in them, there's paraffin, and they actually are drying. So if you're having an outbreak around your eyes or your face and you're, you're creaming and you're moisturizing and it's a commercial product, guaranteed those the, you're you're only causing more problems because there's the formaldehyde um you're basically you know your body can't detox enough and it's, it's coming out through your pores so you're gonna need to go to real basic basic uh, stuff like you know a bottle of olive oil or a bottle of almond oil or you know if you want to try some of my stuff you can always get the face serum with the little extra ingredients in there okay so the other thing that i want to talk to you about was the um why i don't make creams instead i make i make body butters now creams you have to put a preservative in them and i can tell you as a as a professional bath and body cosmetic maker there is no such thing as a natural preservative. I don't care what the girl tells you or the guy, there is no such thing as a natural preservative. It doesn't exist. So when they say that their product is has natural preservatives in it, it really, it's just, maybe it sh the shelf life extends a little longer, but you're still gonna have problems with bacteria and fungal fungal issues which is why I don't do that. The minute to make a cream, it's the same ingredients as the soap, okay? Only difference is, is that they added water and they thinned it and they took out the, uh, the uh, lye, okay? To make soap, you gotta have lye. It does, you, otherwise, you don't have soap. You have a, a, a gooey mess. So to make a cream, it's the similar ingredients minus the lye, and they add a a water to it to thin it out, and then they they beat it. They make a blend. They you know get a blender and they they beat it, and that's why it's all nice and creamy. And then they have to add something to it because water is a a mechanism for bacteria growth. I don't want to do that. I tried making creams before and it didn't work because of the fact that they started growing mold and I just didn't feel comfortable with that product. So I decided to come to making body butters. Now body butters, um, there's no there's no water in it. So basically it's the same ingredients that are in the soap, uh, but there's uh, coconut butter, there's shea butter, there's coconut oil, there's infused olive oil with the herb that I use, and I also use a calendula extract and um, carrot extract, vitamin E, and then I use an essential oil. This is coconut, so there's no such thing, and yes, it's a, it's a sample jar. Um, I don't want to get it all dirty for when I use it for my own use. Um, this is for you guys. This is for the pretty customers. Um, so I don't use, um, I don't use, I don't make crepes for that reason because of the bacterial and um, I want my products to be as pure as possible. So I don't believe in, in, in dyes. You can see that the, my, my soaps are, as, are pretty plain only because people, uh, you know, my daughter, I originally started this making this for my, for my daughter only because people have adverse reactions to dyes. So what you see is the natural color of the soap and how it comes out with the ingredients that I use or the herbs that I use and the products that I infuse. It's black because there's charcoal in it, okay? Um, my orange chocolate calendula, it's brown because there's chocolate. There's real organic cocoa in it. And then I, uh, my rose hip calendula soap, I make it out of rose hips tea. Um, and then I have the, the oil infused with calendula flowers that are grown in the, in the garden. So now that I've sprayed, now you can also, you know, if you're throughout the day, so if you're having an, a, <clears throat> a bad reaction, eliminate all your makeup. Um, you can hydrate with water again throughout the day to just bring your, if you don't want to add more oil and you just 
want to just cool your skin down and hydrate it then spritz it with water you can and you can buy these little spritzer little spritzer bottles anywhere and you can just fill them up with water and take them with you and you just you know you just spritz your face with it, it works great so we are ready now the first thing i do is this is my my whipped body butter let me see how nice this is so this is my body butter and you know i just put a little bit on my face okay it doesn't take a lot you know there's something nice about natural products is your skin is ready, especially when you put a toner. You put a toner on there. And you just get around your eyes. Okay? Get your neck. Don't forget your neck. All right. So once that's done, so use the toner first. Let your face dry. Then you use... The body better and you can put this anywhere on your body your face your your heels my husband discovered he's got um, really bad cracked elbows as well as knees and his hands you know around his hands are are bleeding so he's using the body butter and he absolutely loves it and then the next thing to do is the face serum you know, I just put a little couple little drops You just put it around my eye, your eyes. Now you're going to say, oh my God, my face is so greasy. Oh my God, I can't handle the, the greasiness on your face. Well, guys, give it a little while and your face will absorb the oil and it'll thank you for it. And it'll be nice and happy and you won't have that shiny, facey, you know, that glistening look. And that means your face is healthy. Now, if you don't, because this, the face serum or the the face mist is so, um, it's expensive because there's a lot of processing that I have to do. The next step down, if you want a body spray that is simple, that's less expensive, you can, you can also order the body spray. You can also use that as a, as a, as a, um, essential oil or a, a mister for your face as well um but it's not the hydrosol it's it's just the the, uh, the the hot the distilled water as well as the um there's a, a chem another little sugar thing that i add to it so the oil and water will will mix and then i have the essential oils um so this is a, it's a it's a cheaper version of this but it's not hydrosol so you can use this as well you can also use this in between so if you're you're uh, out and about and you're having a breakout um, and you want to use your body spray this will work as well I've used this ye for years before I went and got my big still to make this it'll all work it's all 100% natural and your body will thank you and so that's it. And then I will wait a few minutes and then I will put my makeup on and, um, and we're, we're good to go. So I'm not going to let you uh, make you watch me put my makeup on, but I'll be back in a moment. Okay. So another tip that I do that I wanted to share with you that I recommend. So if you're having problems with your eyes, dryness around your eye, sometimes Makeup can be um, even more drying because you're wearing there of all the chemicals that they have and the preservatives, things like that. So what I recommend people do is now this is a concealer that I have. I'm not going to tell you the, the brand name of it because I am not going to. I don't want to give them any uh, a concealer. And again, I'm I'm real basic. I don't put a lot of uh, I don't put put foundation on anymore. I, I'm just you know I have a couple errands that I have to go. I have a couple appointments that I have to go out today. So you know, my my regime is pretty damn simple. When I was in corporate America, I did the whole face thing, soup to nuts. 
Um, and I think that's what part of my problem is years later is that I really did a number on my skin. So I'll take a little bit of concealer and I'll, I'll put it on my hand. Now it's white. It starts out as white. Then I'll either take, now I have face bombs and you can do face bombs. I have the lavender face balm. I have the, um, orange balm either way these will work doesn't matter which one so i will open it up and i'll take a little bit now you can also do the body butter as well but i i want a a little less a little less oil so i'm using the uh, the face balm and i'll i'll mix it in now this happens to be a light color and I'll just, I'll add moisture to the makeup. Okay, I'll mix it and I'll put it around my eye. And I'll, I'll mix it in, I'll blend it in. And I'll put it on the rest of my face. Now, if you can do this with foundation, you can do this with concealer. I just happen to use concealer because I'm lazy. I'm not going to go buy extra makeup when I don't barely wear it to begin with um, because I'm mostly I'm at home now and I don't go out to pu in public very often. So that is a way to help get additional moisturizer is just mix a little bit and i you know i wouldn't i used to use oil you can use oil you can mix it with the face oil with the face serum you can mix it with the with the body butter or you can mix it with the, you know this is happens to be the orange balm but i also have the lavender face balm so again it's it's instead of a lotion these are all things that are shelf stable will last you for months that will not have bacteria in them and you can use them on your face and uh, it'll give you it'll help around the eyes and some of the blemishes now if you do happen to have a blemish it happens to be where you got the third eye in the middle of your forehead or you know you got this thing sticking here what I would recommend that you do is you soak it either you take a piece of toilet paper if you're really allergic now I for a lot of times I don't I used to use these around my eyes to clean to when I take makeup off but I don't use these anymore because I think I've developed an allergy to the cotton or whatever else whatever this was is in here somehow or another along the years this has changed um, and I don't know why but um, either you take a piece of toilet paper which may be um, or you know this is what I'll use this for actually um, I don't use it around my eyes, but I will take one product that I do recommend is this. Now, I don't get any money for this, okay? If I put affiliate link down, maybe that will be it. I don't even know if they still send it. But uh, <laughs> growing up in California, I discovered this product, and I've used it for 40, 50 years at this point. Um, it's Seabreeze. Now, this is almost like pure alcohol. And I will dab it on and then I will just stick it on that pimple and I will let it sit there for a minute or so and I'll do this in the morning and then before bed. And then I, if I put makeup on, I will, I will go around <laughs> the blemish and I will just, you know, if I happen to be in the bathroom, um, I, if I remember, I'll stick it, I stick it on. I try not to pop it but I will soak it as often as I can in this product and it will eventually shrink and go away. That is the only thing that has worked for me. Clear Cell, some of these other products have never worked for me. Now, if you want a healthier version of this, you can try Pure Witch Hazel, you can try Pure Vodka, I have done that. Um, but for me, for my body, for my type of blemishes, this, this product has worked well for me um, and it goes away and I'm good to go now I put this everywhere 
Now, if you get a blemish on your butt, then it was perfect for your butt. Um, so on your thigh, I mean, I've gotten zits on my thighs. I mean, just the most bizarre places. Um, again, this is more has to do with what I've eaten that week than, than hormones or, or anything else or being not clean or whatever. So, um, what you are, what you eat. So if you're going to eat junk. Now, the other thing that I discovered was that, uh, years ago, I started getting blemishes around my forehead or around my hairline. I could never figure out why. Well, um, when I was putting myself through school, um, I was eating on a budget. And so I was eating, um, linguine and clams. I was making linguine and clams. It was a cheap, it was a cheap meal. It cost me pennies on the dollar. Well, I discovered that, well, bottom eaters, clams are bottom eaters, and so are shrimp, and they eat the crap on the, on the sea floor. Well, you know what? My body was detoxifying, and it was coming out through my hairline and through, um, through I was, you know, eating what the, what the shrimp were eating and the, and the clams. So, had, once I stopped eating uh, the clams and the shrimp, then my face cleared up and I was fine. So again, think about what you add. Sometimes if I have shrimp, it, it will, I will get a blemish. So I have to be careful on the types of food that I eat, what I'm eating, seafood, where is it? Is it a bottom fish? Is it, is it a swimmer? You know, is it high in omega-3, fatty acids, things like that. You know, cod, cod is great. Salmon is great. Um, tilapia, it is a cheap fish, but it is also healthy for you. And it's relatively inexpensive. So let me finish getting my face on. Um, I won't bore you with you watching me do this and I will be back in a moment to wrap this up. Okay, welcome back. I hope this was helpful for you. I wanna recap just for a few minutes. You know, wash your face with either a lavender or Hawaiian black lava soap or some kind of sea salt based soap if your face is extremely oily and you need to, to dry it out. If you're, if you're extremely dry uh, face and you're having issues around your eyes, drying, uh, flaking, redness, burning, then you might uh, want to try washing your face with oil like a face serum or um, something as inexpensive as an almond oil or a, uh, a olive oil. They will, it has high in omega-3 fatty acids. It'll penetrate your skin tissues. It'll help repair some of the collagen um, and it'll moisturize. It just means that your face is, um, your body in, is, is inflamed and it needs, you need to calm it down. You know, spritz your face with water or a, a hydrosol. Again, all these products, you don't have to, where buy any of these products i'm just saying this is what uh has helped me and i developed these products because i needed to solve a problem so i'm just sharing this with you um, you can apply the lavender face balm or the body butter i make it two different scents i can do lavender body butter which is infused with the lavender or you can uh, do the coconut if you like a more beachy scent um, then the uh, the green tea face serum, which I really like. I really am a fan of my face serum. I mean, I made it for me. Now I'm sharing it with you. Um, you know, the, the macadamia nut, the lavender olive oil, doesn't matter which one. Macadamia nut seems to be a lot more better for your skin. Again, it's high in fatty three fatty acids. All kinds uh, helps repair collagen, penetrates deep into the, into the skin tissues. Um, and then you have a choice of either just going uh, plain, all natural for a while, so your heat face will heal. Um, and then you can try putting on some kind of concealer, but I would mix it in your palm of your hand, just take a couple of drops, mix it with either the face serum, body butter, or the the uh, the balms, either the orange balm, or you can do the lavender balm. Um, especially if you're having an outbreak, I would stick with more of the essential oil products versus, I know the coconut oil is a fragrance, fragrance oil uh, because there's no such thing as a coconut essential oil. It doesn't exist. 
Um, and then remove your makeup at bedtime. Use the, the face serum um, or coconut oil, I mean um, olive oil or almond oil to remove your makeup and then wash your face, pat it dry, and then apply again the little bit of olive oil or face serum on for, as a nighttime moisturizer and see see how it goes um, for bed. Use it as a, use it as a bedtime routine. Let it let it uh, penetrate your skin and help with the wrinkles. Um, the other thing that I wanted to share with you is why am I now can wear makeup. Now, this was something that I discovered having not been able to wear makeup for many, many years. Um, I discovered as I started doing intermittent fasting, the longer I fasted, meaning duration, if I did a 24 hour fast to a 72 hour or 48 hour fast, um, my inflammation in my body extremely dropped. Um, if I didn't eat carbs, if I cut back on my sugars, um, again, my inflammation in my body dropped. And I discovered that I can wear makeup for a short period of time. So um, if you're looking to for weight loss, if you're having type 2 diabetes issues, again, I'm not a doctor. Please consult your doctor if you have questions with your health care. This is only for educational purposes. I am not trying to treat or diagnose anybody. I'm just sharing you what has worked for me. And after years of, and talking to my eye doctor, trying to figure out why my eyes were so inflamed and why they were basically crusting and peeling and stinging, um, and she couldn't figure out, she, she tested me for all kinds of, you know, there was microscopic bacteria on my eyelids. She didn't know where it was coming from or why it was happening. But the minute I eliminated dairy, gluten, cut back on my sugars extensively, started fasting, a lot of the inflammation, a lot of the blemish problems went away. Now I'm officially in menopause. Up until that point, I wasn't in menopause as of last year. I was not in menopause. I guess I'm late. I was late. But um, I've noticed that a lot of this uh, issues have died, have, have died down. Not that I'm trying to tell you about my personal life, but I know that maybe, you know, too much information for you, TMI. But again, I know that people are looking for solutions and I'm just sharing with you what worked for me. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if it was, please like, subscribe to my channel, sign up for my newsletter, Living and Loving Herbs. For dot com forward slash cold, you will get my free ebook for cold and flu season on herbs and recipes that'll help you survive the cold flu season in a healthy way. I am Brenda Sullivan, herbalist, and I wish you a good day and like and subscribe. And links to all the products that I use will be down in the show notes. Peace with you, and I hope this was helpful. And I will see you next time. Bye.